Hello, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. Today we've got a really special video for you about Sunny Pig. She's had some health issues recently and this is a video to update you on what's happened over the past couple of weeks. If you keep an eye on our community tab on YouTube, you'll see that we had some bad news about Sunny Pig a couple of weeks ago. Sunny has a really big personality. In fact, her name Sunny describes her very well. She's very different from all our other guinea pigs as she's so super friendly. She doesn't mind being picked up and she rarely runs away. She always puts her little feet on the side of the perspex fronted cage and scrapes them a bit like a dog does to a door to get our attention and for food or treats. In fact, she's learnt that if she does this each time Mr Guinea Piggles walks past, she will get a pea flake every time. We took Sunny to the vet a few months ago because we were worried about the fact that she had some hair loss. She was also a bit moody with the other guinea pigs. The vet said the hair loss may be hormonal and the only way to resolve this issue in a female guinea pig is to have her spayed. Although we don't know Sunny's exact age, we do know she's at least five and a half to six years old. Spaying a guinea pig is a very risky operation and even more so in an elderly guinea pig. So we decided against the operation at the time. But over the past month, Sunny has clearly not been herself. Although she hasn't gone off her food and is content most of the time, she's been much quieter. At times she didn't look very well and she looked a bit sad. She's also started to lose weight, which is always a clear warning sign in a guinea pig. When guinea pigs are uncomfortable, in pain or are depressed, they tend to sit in this kind of ball shape and this is something we noticed her doing very recently. We made an appointment with the vet to find out if there might be something more serious wrong with her. After giving her a thorough check, the vet said she could feel some kind of mass around where her ovaries are, but Sunny would need a scan to find out what this lumpy mass was. A couple of days later, Sunny had a scan, and we received the bad news that the lump looked like a tumour on her ovaries. Our option was either to have her spayed, which would involve removing her uterus and her ovaries, and the tumour would be removed along with the ovaries and we would have to hope the tumour hadn't spread any further. The other option would be to simply leave it. But Sunny was clearly not happy some of the time and would most likely need to be put to sleep in the near future if she got any worse. And it was inevitable that she would get worse. We decided the best thing to do for Sunny would be to have her spayed. Sunny had the operation last Tuesday. We didn't know if she'd make it through the surgery, so it felt like a long wait before we heard from the vet. But it was good news. Our Sunny pig had made it through the surgery. She'd also eaten some food afterwards, which is really good because she wouldn't have been able to come home until she started to eat. And in fact, they discovered the lump wasn't a tumour, but an ovarian cyst, which is something that guinea pigs are very prone to. Sunny came home that afternoon, but she can't join the other guinea pigs for a week as we need to allow her wounds to heal. This is because the other guinea pigs might lick the wounds, which could aggravate them and lead to an infection. So I've set up a cage next to the other guinea pigs so she wouldn't feel lonely. You'll see that our cage is different to normal. That's because we're having some work done in the house and we needed to move them to keep them safe from the dust. So we've set up two Midwest habitats with a CNC extension on a temporary basis and they'll be here for a couple of months. 
I've put Sunny on fleece because the shavings could irritate her wound. She also has a heat pad in her hidey because guinea pigs can deteriorate fast after an operation if they're not warm enough. Spaying is a big operation and they need to be kept on a flat surface afterwards. They shouldn't use ramps or have to reach up for food. I've put her hay on the floor of the cage so it's easy for her to get to. The vet gave me some antibiotics which she needs to have by syringe once a day. She also has some critical care food which is a special powdered food that you mix with water and give them in a syringe. Sunny isn't very keen on the syringe feeding so it's a bit of a challenge to feed her but she is eating other food. I'm sticking to some of her favourite foods to make sure she does eat and puts on weight. Sunny's been coming out of her hidey for food and isn't eating as much as she normally would but we're weighing her each day to make sure she doesn't lose more weight. Something else you need to keep an eye on after having your guinea pigs spayed is that they're pooping. If they don't they can get seriously ill. Sunny was hobbling around a little weirdly for the first couple of days but after three days she put her little feet up on the side of the cage when I went into the room. That was really good to see because it shows she's feeling a lot more comfortable. We're going to keep you updated on how Sunny gets on but you might be interested in how much this cost. For the initial appointment, scan and the operation including the antibiotics and critical care food it all came to £220 which is $306 US dollars. If you're having to look at this operation for your guinea pig, bear in mind that the cost will vary between vets, countries and locations within a country, but at least this gives you some idea of what the cost may be. Sometimes guinea pigs can cost a lot of money, but they give us so much joy and love, they are always worth it. If you love guinea pigs you might like to visit our website where you can find lots of information about guinea pig care, housing, product reviews and much more. With around 60,000 people visiting our website per month, we're the number one guinea pig care site. So whatever you need to know about the world's cutest pet, you can find it here at www.guineapiggles.com in the US or .co.uk for the UK.